why it's illegal to photograph the Eiffel Tower at night. The Eiffel Tower is a famous symbol of France. But have you ever wondered why most of the pictures you see of this tower are taken during the day? This has a lot to do with a rumor that taking photos of the Eiffel Tower at night is illegal. Let's try to understand this in simpler terms. To explain this, we first need to understand what copyright law is. In simple terms, copyright law is a set of rules that protect a person's original work. This can be a song, a book, a painting, or in this case, a building like the Eiffel Tower. In the European Union, where France is, the law says that the creator of a work holds the copyright for 70 years after they pass away. The Eiffel Tower was built by a man named Gustav Eiffel in the year 1889. He passed away in 1932. So, if we count 70 years after that, the copyright expired in 2003. This means anyone is free to make a copy of the Eiffel Tower, take a picture of it, or even build a replica of it. So, it's not illegal to take a picture of the Eiffel Tower during the day. But, there's a twist. In 1985, a man named Pierre Bibot put up a fancy light display on the Eiffel Tower. Since this was a new addition, it's considered a separate work and it's still protected by copyright. This is why taking a picture of the Eiffel Tower at night when the lights are visible becomes a tricky situation. Now, this doesn't mean you can't ever take a picture of the Eiffel Tower at night. If you're just a tourist taking a picture for fun, you're free to do so. You can even show these pictures to your friends or put them on social media, as long as you're not making money from it. France doesn't have a law called Freedom of Panorama. This law, present in many European countries, lets people take panoramic shots of copyrighted buildings without breaking any rules. But in France, even if you're taking a wide-angle picture of Paris at night, you have to blur out the Eiffel Tower because of this missing law. In 2016, France did make some changes and allowed limited freedom of panorama. But even with this change, the rule clearly says that the picture or reproduction should be made by a real person and it can't be used for making money. So, if you're a tourist taking pictures for your album, you don't have to worry about anything. But if you're making a movie or doing a photo shoot that you'll sell later, you need to get permission first. Technically, the French authorities could say they own any picture of the Eiffel Tower at night that you put on social media. If you break this law, you could be fined. But usually, they don't enforce this law very strictly. That's why you can find many pictures of the Eiffel Tower at night online, even though they might technically be illegal. France isn't the only country with a law like this. Other places, like the European Parliament Building in Strasbourg, the Colosseum in Rome, and the Little Mermaid in Copenhagen have the same protection. Countries like Italy and Greece don't have the freedom of panorama law at all. But most English-speaking countries, like the US and UK, do allow people to freely take pictures of public buildings like the Lincoln Memorial or Westminster Abbey. So, if you're in Paris and you snap a beautiful picture of the Eiffel Tower at night, think twice before you post it on Facebook.